This is Eagle Out, and today I'll be talking about the Eagles are projected to have $65 million. Maybe in 2025, we'll go over that. Also, we got to talk about extensions, 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 extensions. But let's get straight into it. All right, so before we get straight into the topics, yes, I got to talk about Hassan Reddick again. Yep, got to talk about him. So he made his official announcement that he's a New York Jet. Stabbed to the heart, man. Stabbed to the heart. But I'm happy for Hassan Reddick. The more I think about it, especially on his end, it's a great deal for him. You know, you think of the Jets, you think of the past couple years, losing organization, haven't really gone anywhere. You know, you see the potential in their defense. The offense can never really get it right. But when you look at the team as a whole right now, they look good. I mean, Aaron Rodgers will be coming back. They signed their offensive talent. They got Mike Williams. They signed um, Tyron, Tyron Smith from Dallas Cowboys. They added Hassan Reddit to their defense. They already got like CJ Mosley and those dudes, D, DJ Reed, Sauce Gardner. That team is ready, but hopefully, you know, they don't, waste Hassan Reddick and you know they they do a couple things there and I think how we did him right he didn't go too far from Philadelphia he's still close to his family it's a longer ride to see his family but he's still close he's still in New Jersey basically he's just in North Jersey on my side of town or where I used to live anyway Hassan Reddick some interesting things about his deal came out and the more interesting things about his deal that comes out about the trade and everything, the more I'm starting to lean towards Howie Roseman, even though I think Howie Roseman lost the trade. I'm not going to say fleece, but loss. But Howie Roseman's hands were tied. So more details came out, and Howie Roseman was offered a 2025 pick, but it was a fifth round that could be a fourth. And Howie really wanted that second. So Howie. Came out with another deal. What if we delay it to 2026? That's how he got his second round pick. You're like something that is conditional, you know, second, but it can be a third if he don't live up to the, you know, incentives of the 68% and uh, 10 plus sacks. Third to a second is good. Just wait until 2026. And it feels like how we rose my hands were tied. Now, a lot of things about the cap. Just like, what do we do with that money? Because Jets are responsible of paying him that 14.5. We are responsible of paying him the $1 million, right? So the money technically doesn't come off our cap this year. So we still got around around low 30-ish of cap space, which is really good. You still got 30 to $31 million in cap space. But that following year, that's when we're going to save a lot of money. And according to Philly Nation, not only the money can carry over from this year to next, you don't have Hassan Reddick on the books anymore and you can project it to have $65 million in cap room. Now, let's get into that topic. $65 million in cap room. That's a lot of money for Howard Roseman to play with. You know, it, it as we speak, it's April 1st. Well, you guys will see this April 2nd. As we speak. I don't think the roster is done. We have way too much cap room this year and going into next year. I'm telling you, Howie is cooking something we just not seeing yet. And he he's turning poop into sugar right now. Again, I it is hard for me to defend the Hassan Reddit trade. But again, the more details that come out, you start thinking like, All right, I see what Howie was thinking. But he's trying to turn this thing into sugar. A, you still got a lot of cat room. B, you signed Bryce Huff. You was able to get Josh Sweat back. Everybody wasn't able to come back. It just wasn't going to happen, especially a cap hit like Hassan Reddick. We was going to have to give up a big name. It just is what it is. You know, my thing about that, I thought we should have just let him play it out. But now the more cap that comes around, I'm like, hey, how we... How he goes get go get talent. He probably struggle in the draft here and there, but he know how to go get some talent. And again, the name 
I keep seeing if we can't pull a Josh Allen, the defensive end this year, if these defensive ends don't step up, trust me, with 60 plus million dollars in cap space, how we will go grab him a Josh Allen once that franchise tag or whatever is up. He will go do it. He would definitely do it. And the talks about Devontae Smith, he's going to get his money. He's definitely going to get his money. But today I seen that Reed Blankenship was extended. And that's a great thing. Reed Blankenship extended a one year deal. So you don't you don't have to worry about it next year or how we're going to get Reed Blankenship. Is somebody going to snatch him off the market? No, I like it. It's about three million dollars, close to the four million. He got some incentives if he played a certain amount of games, a Pro Bowl. I, I really, really like this deal. You get a really good safety, no matter what you think about him. He was injured here and there. You get a really good safety on the cheap deal. Basically a somewhat prove it deal. And I'm happy for Reed Blankenship. You know, he came in undrafted, probably didn't know what his future was. And now, you know, he, he's a millionaire in the NFL making decent amount of money. And he got a lot to prove. Him and CJ Gardner Johnson are going to be the guys, even though I think you should still bring somebody else in. I like this extension. I like this move. I see a lot of people going in on Reed Blankenship. Reed Blankenship is really good. Hassan Reddick, Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, even my guy Kevin Byer. A lot of these dudes were victims of that last year's system. And Reed Blankenship was no different. He was a victim of the system. Not only that, he was hurt. So again, I, I like this deal. Like I don't see the loss in it. I, I like it. I really, really like it. A lot of people are like, no, it should have been Smitty extended this and that. But did you just hear what I just said? $65 million in cap space coming up next year. There's really no rush to extend Smitty. The money is not going to run out because extensions 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 what we're not mentioning is the, the the gritty guys you know we like the superstars we we like when a, a guy like smitty when he get extended soon or we like when we sign the bryce hubs or the you know saquon barclays and this and that we love the superstars but what about the milton williams that go in what about Burton covey the year he had what about him what about Jordan Malata? You're going to have to extend him soon because his contract is coming up. Now, reports about that came out. So shout out to Jake Rabadi. Sound like the Eagles are trying to work contracts with, of course, a Devontae Smith. But you got Jordan Malata. You got Britton Covey. You got Milton Williams. And you've seen how we just handle Reed Blankenship. So you got some guys contract coming up and you want to extend them, especially a guy like Milton Williams. Milton Williams breakout year is going to come. I thought it would be last year. And even with a bad system, he showed a lot of promise. So this year, I'm telling you, if you get give him the opportunities, he will show what he got. And again, this is a do you want to get extended fast. Because if he had a year, I think he's going to have, he, he might can, you know, demand a lot of money. So I think you should pay him early, pay him early, get him out the way. Britton Covey, you know, sign him the same way you sign Reed Blankenship. Give him like a one year extension or so. Jordan Malata, you got to take care of him. He's been, what, second best left tackle. I keep it real. The, the guy on San Francisco is the first, but Jordan Malata's no slouch. He's second or third. You know, Tyron Smith is still up there, but Jordan Malata is in that top five. He's in that top five, so he got to get his money. Devontae Smith, again, will get his money, but we got to handle the really, really good guys, guys that deserve a roster spot especially like a Britton Covey. I don't even think we could cut Britton Covey this year. Like he has to be on the roster. If we decide to, you know, cut him, then practice squads, and he, he's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. You got to extend him, get him ready. Jordan Malata, get his money right. Get Milton Williams' money right. Get some of these dudes' money right. Get them on the books. And then when it's time to sign Devontae Smith, he will get his money. Devontae Smith is not going anywhere. 
there's no rush. As much as I love Devontae Smith. And I'm saying pay him, pay him, pay him. The more I step back, we got to pay these other guys first. And then, boom, that Devontae Smith news is going to come out. Trust me. It's going to come. But, hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel about the news today? Sound Reddit, the cap space, the extensions. How we feeling? How are we feeling? But this is Evil Al, man. I'm up.